Is it skill? Is it luck? Or is it just the roll of the dice? The custom dice company Die Hard believes you should roll with the best. So today we roll the dice with Die Hard on Dungeon Crawlers. This episode of Dungeon Crawlers Radio is brought to you by Geek Girl Realty. Are you looking for that fortress of solitude or a cottage in the woods? Geek Girl Realty can help you out. Check them out at www.geekgirlrealty.com. Dungeon Crawlers. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another exciting adventure of Dungeon Crawlers. Dan and I have managed to sync schedules, and we are back together. And we managed to meet up at Salt Lake Gaming Con. Yes. So now we are here today. We're excited. Uh, <laughs> Gaming Con has what, tripled in size in the last... Uh... Yes, they've gone from a small venue to a much larger venue. So They're now in the Salt Palace, which are. is... <laughs> For those of you that don't know what that is, oh well. Uh, it's a much larger gaming convention. Yes, uh, yes. But Imagine leveling up from a, from a shoebox to an entire room, I would say, right? That's, uh, it's like to a bedroom. being a level 1 adventurer going to a level 10. So, no, it's really yeah. exciting. Um, and one of the vendors we're actually meeting with today uh, is a company that is a favorite of mine, personally. I've been yes. watching these guys for the last uh, last couple of years, um, and I collect probably a little too much than I should from them. Any random game that involves dice, it's all about the dice roll, and this company has taken that, they've run with it. And their D4 is definitely now a Caltrop. Yes, and uh, the company that we're talking about is Die Hard Dice. Uh, we're speaking with... Chris Call. Chris Call of Die Hard Dice. Now, Chris, what do you do at Die Hard? Um, I, I'm kind of like the bard, so I'm kind of like the director of communications. And so if you send an email to us, I'm 90% of the time I'm going to be the one that answers it. Does it and come then, with a song? Uh, it does not come with Dang a song it. that I know of. Calling yourself a bard and no song. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But he still, he talks he in does. rhyme he does. in the email. Oh, okay. Now, hold I'm on. Like, I'm like the cheerleader. The cheerleader. Now, <laughs> when we order your dice, are you the one that signs that little card that says, thank you for your order? Um, I'm one of several. Oh, so okay. there's, there's okay. several. It just depends on uh, who's available and and uh, how many orders there are. But, but I'll, I'll do that a lot. But in a lot of cases, it'll be it'll be various people like Kiki or Miri that, that help out with that. No, that's awesome. I, yeah. I love the fact that you guys personalize it. Like, we have tons of fun doing that, yeah. and it's and it's a great way to to connect with with our with our fans and and just with the community in general. And what's really fun is that a, a lot of times people will share like personal stories, and we're able to 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 communicate over a period of time and. And I don't know, just develop a relationship more than just like a one-time, uh, hey, like thanks for getting dice. Yes, I remember when I ordered my uh, when I first started searching, I was looking for a particular uh, like frosted kind of look. You know, with the kind that has looks like slime in the middle of it, right? Right. Uh, I love that look. I don't know why. I just kind of am obsessed with it. And I found you guys. You guys had like the orange creamsicle. I think it was, if I'm remembering right. But I ordered like one of every single one, and it was just that signature card. I was thinking, oh, this is just going to be a company from like. Uh, shipping stuff in from out of country, and that card actually just made me realize, wow, there are real people on the other side of this, and who, I know this sounds cliche, but care about my roles. Yes. <laughs> so, so what? What? Uh, that should be their tagline now. We care about your roles. <laughs> well, now you guys are here today. Uh, you're featuring uh, a, a lot of what looks like metal dice. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about this? Uh, that's kind of what we specialize in, and. Um, so this line that you're looking at right now is called Mythica, and it was designed by the owner, uh, Todd Tiemann, and to, it's a product of about eight months of work, just making sure that like all the numbers are in the right place and that it's um, that everything's like sized correctly, and um, it may not like they may look like other dice, but a lot of effort and time has been has been undertaken to make sure that they're correctly balanced, that the numbers are proportionate to one another, that the dice are proportionate to one another, and there's been a lot of like Todd works with a CAD program to make sure that they're that they're perfectly balanced or as perfectly balanced as you can possibly get, and there's a lot of times when the what am I talking about? The model, uh-huh. it gets broken, and he has to completely start from scratch to make wow. sure that it's just perfect. And that can be a little bit frustrating and time-consuming, but it's worth it in the end when you get an awesome product like that. Oh, yeah, and, and that's yeah. the thing. You don't want your dice to, to be rolling wrong. I mean, and 
for me especially, like no feeling air these. air bubbles in the middle of them. Exactly. Or if there is an air bubble, it's actually for balance. Yeah. My, right. my resin die, because then, you know, if it's on the wrong side, you never get your 20, or maybe you always get a 1. Now, as far as, so are these aluminum? Are they steel? What kind of uh, metal are these? They're made out of a zinc alloy, and then they're electroplated. And then these, these fancy ones that you see with that, like, s- s- uh, colored slime stuff, it's actually an epoxy to make them look like, like a gemstone. And that's kind of, uh, we have another line called our gemstone line. And then these are just mythica dice. And then the ones with the, with the dual colors are called our spellbinders. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I, and I wish, I wish we could actually, like, one day we'll have hologram technology and we'll be able to send this out to our listeners, but... I love the feel of these things. You guys had me roll like a, a resin dice compared to a metal dice and or a zinc alloy, and they just they feel. Uh, Daniel's recording this probably for our YouTube page. If you want to head over there, we'll have a link in the below. But just like it just feels. Wow, I rolled a three and a fifteen. So on the plus side, my spell would have worked, but then the dragon would have just eaten me uh, with a singed tail. No, maybe just hit you with his tail. Okay. A one would have been an eight. Maybe that one was the damage that he caused, right? Maybe. All right. Well, what do you guys got coming up? Like, uh, do you have any special releases that you're looking forward to? Anything you're working on for the future? Uh, we released something just this con. This set right here is brand new. Oh, that is beautiful. It is a, a brand new style Ooh. of inlay called uh, Celestial with a purple plating. And it is called Celestial Harbinger. And that is the product of... Uh, uh, Todd's wife, Jessie, is our R&D expert, and she has spent hours upon hours uh, experimenting with different paints and materials, and, uh, and this is the result of that. That is just beautiful. It just looks really exquisite and just... So it's not I would av- roll with that. I yeah. would roll with it. It's not available on our website yet. It's con-exclusive, but it should be available shortly. Okay. Nice. Okay. No, that's really fun. That's... That's awesome, and I also I, I noticed that you do have some specially uh, specialty uh, Star dice. Starwing, Starwing, Starwing uh, dice over here. Uh, do you have any other specialty games, or I guess you can't. Um, we the we have a specialty die that is uh, for use for the Magic the Gathering, specifically for the Tarmogoyf card. So you said Magic the Gathering? Correct. Okay. And so it just like grows in power and toughness, specifically for that card, which is kind of fun. And then we've got several roll down counters. Which are fun. They've also got D6s, so you can play other oh, yeah, game yeah. systems. Um, right, the D6s, because a lot of uh, a lot of games just use D6s. Like which Shadow so of Brimstone have, system. Yep. Yeah, we, so we have this, uh, this set is all called Industrial, and it has kind of these futuristic, apocalyptic uh, numbering style with, riv- oh, like with cool those. rivets that are kind of fun. A lot of people are playing Battletech here, and so they've picked them up for Battletech. But if you're playing anything like Apocalypse World or Legacy <laughs> or something like that, they'd be great for that, too. Nice. Maybe Shadowrun. No, that's really exciting. Well, uh, thanks. So where can people actually order these from, then? Uh, from our website, at dieharddice.com. Nice. Well, I know I'll be back. Um, <laughs> yes. I, what I'm afraid of is I... I <laughs> This is, I have a bad addiction. I have a toolbox full of dice. I know Daniel has the same kind of toolbox that (laughs) are meant for nails, and yet we put our dice in them. Multiple drawers of dice. (laughs) Um, Oh, that's one other question that I had. Any word of warning? Because I know when I first got my first metal dice, I rolled it on my table thinking, oh, okay, this is going to be awesome. And then uh, it wasn't from your company. The the, uh, corners are a little bit Oh, yeah. On the one that I have, the corners are very sharp. And right. so when I roll it on the table, it damages it. Do you guys, you guys recommend taking uh, uh, rolling in these dice trays? Right. We sell these dice trays that are uh, that have a like a. They're not foam, but they're a velvet interior to to soften to make the, your rolls not just quiet, but to make sure you're not going to damage your DM's table, yeah. whether it's glass or wood or something, and then they won't hate you at the end of the day. Well, not only that, it feels very satisfying. It's almost like a drum that's being sounded when you roll that thing yes. as opposed to a thunk, thunk, thunk of wood. It's like this boom. Like, it's right. very satisfying. All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to let you guys go. It looks like the crowd is picking up. But thanks for speaking to us today. Uh, again, that's dieharddice.com. Correct. Uh, and we've been speaking with... Chris. Chris, thank you again for joining us. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks. And we'll catch you next time. Yep. Dungeon Crawlers. Dungeon Crawlers.